Let's go with the ultra rare. He looks cool. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gujitsus. We're now into the 10th series, and it's the Cursed Goosey. We got a total of six of them here. The Cursed Goosey, they are. And we'll show you how to expose their curses, because at the front, you know, they just don't seem like they're cursed. So first of all, over to the left, we've got our Eel Eel, and he's an evil dude. And then we got a Grap Lock, which was originally in series one, but now he's cursed. And then we got a Versus Pack, which is Pantajo versus Squidor, or Edward Squidward. You know, SpongeBob, we still haven't seen a SpongeBob in uh, Gujitsus. It'd be cool to grab that, throw it in some water, and just suck it up like sponge, you know? And then have Edward Squidward versus SpongeBob. That'd be a great versus pack. And then, of course, we got our classics, Blazagon and then Thrash. So guys, to get started, how about if we start with our first classic? Because they're just running in almost every series, Thrash and Blazagon. So here's Thrash. Okay, up at the top, you can see it's Heroes of Gujitsu, Curse Goosey, and it's the water reveals their curse, so half of his face just melts in water. It's like, you know, the Wizard of Oz, which, oh, what a world, what a world! It looks like the water's just, like, tearing off her face, or his face. <laughs> and then down below, it's Thrash, the hero pack. Stretches up to three times the size, and he's super oozy. And this is cool, you got a pirate ship over to the right-hand side, it's just, ah. Hey, they're cursed, you know, and they, these are pirates, it looks like. And he's got his eye patch, so great. Then on the back. You can see there's five to collect with unique goo feelings available across series 10. You've got Blazagon. He's got the paw, so he's a goo guy. Eel Eel. He's got that evil insignia there, so he's a bad dude. And then the ultra rare Rock Jaw, and he's evil. And then you got Graplock. He's a good guy, although he looks evil, you know, just the way he looks. <laughs> and then Thrash. And then up at the top here, you can see the steps. First of all, you just got him. And then two, you put him in water. And then it's got in the water a snowflake there, so it's got to be snowflake water or cold water. And then when you do that, Actually, the side of his face just slides off, and you reveal his curseness. <laughs> That's cursed. Okay, guys, and then since we're dealing with pirates, I just thought this dude from Disney, remember the Pirates of the Caribbean? And mark well me words, mateys. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> That's creepy, man. Let's bend at the back. That way we don't tear, like, the front part of the pretty picture of our hero of Guzetsu's. Uh, either way, it's just going to be a messy unboxing, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, it's like they riveted him, I think. Oh, ooh. He's got his claw, guys. It's not really sharp. It's more like a beater stick. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. Yeah, he's got a little bit of that rubber cement smell. So this is his weapon, and you can put it right in there, right? That looks super cool. Then he's got his own hook. Hook, 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 hook. And he's got his eye patch. That looks super cool, guys. Look at him. It's awesome. He's got his little gold right here necklace. You know, Pirates of the Caribbean, the, the gold was cursed. And so if he takes off the gold, maybe he won't be cursed. And he could, you won't have an eye patch. Well, maybe he's playing with this. And so, Ow, why do I keep digging out my eye? <laughs> you play with sharp things, you're going to put out an eye. Or at least uh, lose a hand here. Okay, so there's that front, and then here's the back. Back. Probably not much to see there, right, guys? And then what's interesting, a couple things. Okay, first you can see his, like, uh, loincloth there where he's got the uh, paw. He's a goo guy, right? So you can see the paw patrol. And then what's funny is that he's got a boot right here. And then over here... <laughs> Well, if you look at it, it's not his feet, but the bottom part is his sole. And so I think his boot has been worn through. Because look at the side here. His feet are sticking out. So I was just going to leave it up and say, hey, you know, every pirate has his booty. <laughs> they collect the booties. But this one, his feet just... So part of the curse is that, you know, it's like the Hulk. Half of his feet just, grrr, just rips through the shoe. But I don't know why it's like that. That's just cool. So let's go ahead and see if we can take off his duds, which we can. Because that way when we squeeze him, I want to see his inner goo. Oozy. That's what it is. He's an oozy. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. His rib cage. So his left side of his body is cursed. That's what it is. I mean, at least he's got a little bit of a soul to him, you know, underneath his cursed uh, bony feet. And then he's got his hook. This whole left side has been cursed. So if we go ahead and we put cold water on this, then it should change this side, right? But before we do that, let's go ahead and give him a squeezy wheezy in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Oh, purple metallic swirlies. It's oozy. It's goozy. Well, it's cursed. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's so cool. I love the purple swirlies, guys. Oh, yeah. Very therapeutic. That's cool, man. Okay, guys, we got to do our roundabouts, you know. We'll do roundabouts when he's not cursed and when he's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big difference. I hope we don't get an explosion. Then I'd be cursed. Oh, that was really neat. I like that. That was smooth. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, kind of like bunched up his arms. How far can Cursed go? I'm gonna rip that so I can't pull his hook. Okay, here we go. Oh, I gotta pinch up here, choke up, because it's really stretchy, guys. Yeah, I take the mop. Okay, so that went about 20 feet. Curse goo goes very far. <laughs> okay, guys, now time for the curse. So I think that's cold. Okay, I think. I'm not sure how cold it's supposed to be, but let's go ahead and dip the whole head in here. Uh, nothing's changing, so it's not as cold as it could be. Let's do super cold water, because this has ice in it. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Ace Curse! Look, I can see the back of his head. Let me see the front. Oh, yeah. That's super cold water. I can feel it. <laughs> so it turns purple. Yay! Oh, he's cringy. He's creepy. So if you want to get him out of his cursed condition, just put him in the sauna. He's back. Oh, part of him. <laughs> so that's cool. Just uh, give him a bunch of cold water, and he gets cursed. It's funny because this is like a darker purple, and it's a lighter purple down there. That's cool, man. Does he stand on his own? Gujitsu's never could, you know. <laughs> but the troll dolls, Gujitsu's, they do stands. So we gotta give them doll stands, okay? So let's go ahead and put this off to the side. Let's go to our Blaze Gone. There you go. And it's the water reveals their curse. You can see it looks like he's gonna turn dark purple. He's already got the eye patch thing going on. But again, the left hand side is all cursed. But you don't reveal their curse, which by looking, I'm going, I can see your bones and your foot poking out. You know, you know they're cursed, but then they just get all cringy. Then they show the true side. And then it says again, it's the blaze gone down below, and I'm super gooey. The other one was super oozy. And then it's the same thing on the back to reveal the curse. You wanna just get them in cold water. So let's go ahead and open them up here. That plastic, look at it. Just, man, you can cut yourself on that. So be super careful, guys. Oh, look at this sword. Man, that's cool. That's a nice cutter. I mean, with Thrash, <laughs> you can beat this and probably break his sword. But with this one, if you can get in, he can get a good slice. I love this little uh, protector here. This guard against your finger <laughs> or the hand. So there's our Blazagon. And he looks all cursed, too. And he's got his eye patch. Left side, guys. Everything's just falling apart on his left-hand side. And then he's got his gold medallion of his paw. He's a goo guy. And so let's go ahead and take this off. And then we'll be able to see his full curseness. And there's the back. Okay. And of course, again, the front, this whole side is just withering away. His left eye, everything's gone. And then, you know, put the sword in him. <laughs> Get the food ready for you guys. I mean, you could cut it. Sushi. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to go for the goo in three, two, goo. Blue. Blue metallic swirlies, that's even cooler. I love the blue with the uh, red kind of burgundy-ish, purplish -y skin. It just looks cool. So this is my favorite goo so far, guys. Do you believe it? I goo. It's the cursey goo. Okay, here we go for roundabouts. Oh, he's got a lot of stretchiness to him, it seems like. Oh, he's cursed. Ooh. <laughs> Camera mom, you get me worked up when you get worked up. Don't go, ooh, ooh, ah, he's gonna pop. Oh, I know, I saw it bulging out. He was crazy. But we got to let... Oh, look at that. It looks like he's got, like, buckles across there. That looks pretty cool, you know? So we see what he's cursed like first. And we can bring... Let's see if they if they go any further when they're cursed. You know? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. Man, that really reveals their purpleness. <laughs> It's the decay. It's the icky icker. You know, he's got, he's playing, he's cursed. Man, how would you like that? You remember in the parts of the Caribbean where they're underneath the water in the middle of moonlight. As soon as you hit the moonlight, all of a sudden you see all these skulls coming toward you, skeletons. Dun, 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 dun. That's just creepy, man. I could just see him all cursed coming at me. Wow. Okay, so, oh, this might slide. I gotta shake my hands off with all the water. Here we go. Curse or no curse, I'll fart. Ow. I tried to pinch up, but. <laughs> Water flying everywhere. It only went about 10 feet. Oh, curse doesn't work, guys. Don't be cursed. Go with the uncursed. They'll fly farther. Further. And just, they feel really goo, guys. I mean, they got a lot of just wiggly movement here. They seem stable. Well, the stall stance help. But I mean, as far as stability goes, there seems to be a lot of good balance. And they're not droopy and stuff. But that's just part of their inner goo feeling. Because if it was corn syrup, it'd probably sag a bit more. And I don't think we got any one of those that are just stretchy. Well, let's see. Okay, so the next one we want to do is our ill ill. <laughs> ill of his eel. And it says it's the Il Il Hero Pack. He's super stretchy. And then you can see up the picture up above, you're gonna have the same purple face, but it's gonna be cool once you finally douse him. So it's the same thing on the back. Let's just open him up. Oh, wow. Oh man, look at that beater stick. Look, it's a swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of punniness to it. So, well, a little bit of uh, metaphorically, yeah, that's a good sword. <laughs> Actually, it just looks like an edger. <laughs> Trimming the seaweed down below in our garden. 
And look at this. He's got his Shogun um, outfit. Because if you look at the back, he's got those like uh, uh, layers of like steel to protect, you know, his lower body. And then he's got his head into a, like a little like wrap band here. God, those guys look... He looks creepy. Just look at those. Look at the front of him. His eyes and stuff. And again, it looks like the left side is cursed. Okay, so he's got like a, an extension here. But this side is like warped, the extension. Look, you can see it's kind of bony. Or carbuncles are on it. Like part of the deep sea is growing on him, you know, like in parts of the Caribbean. He's got these growths on him. <laughs> How do you get rid of these growths, man? The coral's like growing all over him. And you can see the rib cage right there. Oh, and there's a starfish already crawling on him. See, he's starting to decay, man, because of the curse. So guys, you don't probably want to keep him cursed by keeping dipping him in cold water. <laughs> but this one is super stretchy. This one's carn syrupy. Yeah, man, this one's super stretchy, guys. Carn syrup. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is super stretchy. That's pretty fun. I like it. Oh, and then the bottoms and then the middles. You want to see if we can see anything on the inside? I don't think there's any toys or treats or prizes, but what does the inside look like? Is it clear inner goo? It looks like it's got a lot of, it, it kind of seems like there's glitter in it. Yeah, like some glitter dots maybe. I think they're really, really tiny glitter dots. Otherwise, I was going to say there's a lot of little air pockets in it, you know? Wow. Now, obviously, he's not going to come praying, you know, just a... <laughs> Why even try? So, we got to reveal his curse. Oh, and then on shorts, you can see he's evil. He's got the evil insignia. He doesn't have the paw. Anything that's not paw is evil. Okay. Oh, that's weird. So, he's got his hand up like this, but, you know, you got to be careful because maybe it's just, you know, coming. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. Let's go see. Cursey Goosey. All right, here we go, guys. That's how cursed. He probably is more cursed. Let's see. That's pure ice water, but he ain't turning as much. Oh, that's cold. Yes, that's very cold water. I don't know. We could probably put him in the freezer to see if it really does something, you know? But right now, he's kind of turning just a little bit like he's blushing. Ah, stop it. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> he's not really as cursed as we thought. Okay, maybe we'll try to put him in the freezer and see if that does anything. But it doesn't seem to bring up as much curseness about him as the other two. Um, this is, was uh, Graplock, one of my top favorites in the first series with Frostbite being number one, of course. I mean, Ultra Rare, who could go wrong with that? Just looks so cool. But Graplock, man, really cool. And so you can see there, it is the grab block. He's super squishy and the water reveals are cursed. So far, they all seem to be purplish. Oh, it's, look at, look at the rivets, guys. You pull that too hard without gloves on, it'll just slash you up. Oh, be careful. Opening these things, man, you may get cursed. Just be careful. Oh, look at that. He's got a fish bone. Look at that. <laughs> ah, that was a great fish. And then take a look at this dude. So he's got his head covering over him and half of it's like rotting away. Then he's got his like tentacles coming out of his mouth, his eyes black. He doesn't have an eye patch, but it's turned black. His whole left side, he's got a starfish on top. He's got, I guess, carbuncles, if that's how you say it. And then uh, again, you got his long normal side, right? Side here, the extension. This one's all shriveled and kind of bony. Then he's got his uh, club foot. He's got things growing on it. You can see on his back, he's got things growing on it too. And then he's got his gold earring. I noticed that just right there, the gold earring. So there's the paw, so he's a good guy, of course. Cool. And he's got a patch on the top of his uh, bandana here. <laughs> okay. Ooh, guys, it's squishy. You know, we got Orbeez, it looks like, in here. You ready? I can see him in three, two, one. Oh, wow, purple and green. Cool. That's a nice treat, man. I thought they would be all purple, but what are the green Orbeez uh, a sign of? So most of his cells are cursed. They're purple. <laughs> he only has a few good green uh, cells, you know, that are working for him. Oh, that's just, that's just awesome. We got the squishies and we got the stretchies. You can see how cool it looks there. You can see it in the light, maybe. And then we can do our roundabouts. I'm not too worried about this one exploding because, you know, an Orby hits you. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> His club foot coming out. Did you see that? It was the cursed foot that was like getting expanded, you know, and all the blood or the purple Orbeez were rushing to it. Cool. Okay, so this one should go pretty far, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm hoping, let's see. Yeah, that was 25 feet, man. That's my grap lock. Guys, I think out of all of them so far, these four that we've got open, he's number one. He just looks super cool. And this right here is not um, part of the gooey set. just plastic, okay? So don't go picking his like boogies or his like beard or I don't know what the thing is. But <laughs> I like the cheesy smile. That's very creepy. But this one just looks traditionally piratey, like, arr, my tease. 
Like, don't mess with uh, our Grap Lock. And it's such a cool name, a pirate name, you know? Grappy. Call him my Grap Boy. Okay, guys, now for the cursed part of him. So this side's gonna turn, hopefully. Oh, wow. I'm, we got ice water in there, so you can see it right there. He's turning a little bit purple, just looks, but it looks kind of like he's been frozen down in the deep sea, you know, just like icicle. So next, let's do our versus pack here. Pantaro versus Squidder, a uh, Squidor. And you can see the water reveals their curse. So for Pantaro, I mean, just, he's got a total makeover here, you know. I. I wouldn't even recognize this Pantaro at all. And then you look at uh, Squidder, he doesn't have any curse. He's just uh, from the other series where he just got a sucking attack. <laughs> and then down below, you can see it's exclusive Pantaro. I'm gooey versus I'm squishy, which is exclusive Squidor. And then on the back, if they had any of you know, the versus pack, they usually mention it here. So I'm not thinking that they're going to be coming out with another versus, but I could be wrong. Maybe it could super goo it, you know, like McDonald's. Super size your goo, and they give us the super, like, you know. <laughs> Who would you supersize? I think this dude would be just the baddest boy to supersize him with all those Orbeez. God, that'd be cool. Anyways, you got Pantaro and you got the paw. He's the good guy. And he's got this three steps to, you know, reveal his curse where, you know, Squidor, uh, the suction attack, that's his specialty. He's not cursed, but man, he wish he was. That's why he sucks. <laughs> He's got his attack there. You can see the emblem right there, his little, uh, I don't know, creepy looking mask face. So he's an evil dude. And then it shows you all the others you can collect. I'm so excited to get the ultra rare rock jaw. I really want to get him because he looks like he's the coolest out of all of them. It's been a while since I've seen an ultra rare that looks super cool. And this one I think is going to be awesome. So we got to get our grubby hands on it. Otherwise, in the meantime, we got to open this up. Oh, look at that. It's just shredding right here. If I keep tearing down, I'll tear my fingers. Oh, okay, so first of all, we'll have our suck face here, Squidder, Squidor. So he doesn't have a weapon here, Squidor. You can see he's got his bulging, uh, buggy, uh, yellow eyes. He's got a suck mouth here, and then he's got sharp teeth or something, and he just sucks you dry here. I don't know, something gross. And then he's got his evil emblem right there. Um, he's got his two sucking hands to, like, I guess to, like, you know, go out, grab you, and pull you in. And nom, 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 nom. So he got some water on the table, so let's go ahead and, oh, wait. He's got these like little like lesions on his uh, arms here. Uh, it's just marks from others that have sucked them, you know? Maybe his kids come up and just, Dad, Dad, they just keep sucking him dry. No, no more. I'm not giving you any more money. Let's do his hands. So we got water on the table. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, we got to get the sucky sound. Let's try to do uh, his face now. Water usually helps. <laughs> it's hard, guys. Hit it. Oh, that was good suckage. Now, how about all three of them? Uh, 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 uh. Down. You gotta get some water, though. You gotta get some water in there and get all the air out of it. Okay, now for the challenge. Can we pull them off in a matter of three, two, one? <laughs> you gotta see this. <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> yes. You guys gotta see it on the other end. I'm gonna show you guys on your end because my end, it looks super funny. It looks cool. Okay, get some more water. Gotta get more water. Find the water and then push. Get all the air out. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work because now it seems like it's not sticking anymore. I might have like ruined the suction cups. This only works after like three pulls and then it doesn't work anymore. See, that's not sticking, but. <laughs> just... Hang on, man, Squitter, man. He's a superhero now. <laughs> that was cool, man. I was going to say, what does he look like in the water? <laughs> like, you know, the suckers in the fish bowls that you have in those aquariums where they just go along and they suck the algae off the glass bowl. That's what he does. He's just an algae sucker. That's cool, man. I think out of fun, sheer, this, the sucking dude is my favorite. And I think he can stand on his own. Oh, yes. That's cool. But he's not cursed, so you can't, you know put cold water on him, it won't work. Yes, here we go, three, two, one. He's got purple and greens. So he's just the opposite of our Graplock. A grab block had all purples and just a few greens, and Squitter now has all greens and just a few purples. So there you go. See, he's not cursed. He just has a few DNA changes there, you know. <laughs> not many like him. He gone cray. So here we go. Roundabouts, guys, for suction man. This is a superhero. He can suck. Did anything suck? Anything sir suction? Edward Squidward, dude. He's got some squishies going on in them. Some pretty horrific sounds, but that's what you expect from a suck face guy. I haven't done this so long. Whoa, well, yeah, that was 25 feet, guys. No, actually, because it went beyond that marker, so it's about uh, 34 feet and five inches.
Kyle, out of all of them, he's the funnest to play with by far. I just love it, that, that sucky thing. So now for our cursed Pantaro, man, I don't even recognize. It's like he got his head stuck in outer space and half of it just turned blue and he's an alien. <laughs> Pantaro, man, what happened to you? Oh, God, but he still has his mask. That probably below that isn't blue. I mean, he's got his green, like, cutter top, his, you know, mohawk to the parties. Now, he's got his normal side, right? Right side, he's got his boot on. But then the curse starts eating away his clothing, his flesh, and he's got, like... His knuckles, they, yeah, it looks like you can reveal part of his bones here and stuff. And he's got, you know, the left shoulder here with the armor starting to erode. It's just looking at this, you wouldn't think that with the pawn he's a goo guy. You just think he's, man, run away from him. He goes, no, I'm good, I'm good. It's like, not looking like that, you're not. <laughs> oh, you see his uh, morning star? Good morning. Oh, look, it's a fish. It's a puffer fish. See the eye? And then the sucker part right there. <laughs> They're poisonous, these bowfish, you know. So you gotta be careful, you gotta cut them just right. That's cool. Here we go, guys. Here's the inner goo in three, two, one. Purple, we got purple swirlies. We have two purple swirlies. Cool, I like the purple swirlies. It doesn't uh, pop as much as in the silver uh, skin here for Pantaro, but we'll see what it, if it makes up for it with his cursedness, okay? Just see how cursed he is. Left side, right, guys? Is he cursed? Is he getting cursed? Is he cursed? It's just kind of turning a light, you know, a, a purple. But I, it, it's totally ice water in here, guys, but it's just not as doing as well. But like I say, man, if you put it in the freezer, at least you'll be cursed for, you know, playing out in the snow. It'll be cursed for the entire winter. Okay, roundabouts, here we go. Oh, wow. This is the one that, you know, if it breaks, we got ooze everywhere, so cover your mouth. <laughs> not too bad, just water flipping everywhere. Okay, and then raise the capring. Three, two, not too bad. He got about 17 feet, not too bad. You guys are probably wondering where all the other gujitsus are, but we got them in deep freeze. So I want to see what it looks like when we really curse them. You know, the cold, the freezing. It's gonna look cool as soon as they're done not chilling, you know? In the meantime, let's go with the ultra rare. He looks cool. And you see, it's the uh, ultra rare rock jaw hero pack. He's squishy and stretchy. So he's a two in one goo power. So you get double the pleasure, double the fun. And I love his little curse face. Water reveals their curse. And you can see half of it's just purple. So I guess that's what it is. And on the back, you know, it's the same thing, except you can see the stages of his curseness. You can see he's happy. And then you put him in cold water and then it's purple again. Okay, so cool, we got the ultra rare. Okay, once I open him up, he's no longer ultra anymore. He's just rare. Okay. But that's what we do. And guys, open up a curse goo, you get cursed. And he just goes, I curse goo, I curse goo, I curse goo, and goo. But man, these are so cool. Look at his like, what is that, a butterfly? <laughs> that's a curmudgeon. Poo, poo, poo. It's his wand of cursed power. That's how he curses people, you know. I'm gonna just have you just like me. Look at that. How's he look cool? I mean, that'd be cool if he actually could shoot this at you. And then just pull you in. Oh, that'd be so wicked! I love his hat, it's so pirate-ish-y. I mean, that's great. He's just taking, he's got a stubby leg right here, his nub, got cut off or eaten by a shark. Could have been eaten by him. The rock crocodile dial. And uh, oh, I love his little, like, weather-torn pants. You know, he's in the wind, and he's got his curse uh, emblem right there, so he's an evil dude. So another ultra rare who's cursed, who's evil. And it's cool because you can see he's got the green side, he's got the purple goo over here, two in one. He's got a shogun, it looks like shogun, his black belt but it's this black skirt. He's super powerful. So let's take those off so you can see right to the goo. Oh man. Oh, he's got bones on this side. And he's got, okay, you guys gotta see this, okay? We'll do it, two, three, uh, three, two, uh, two, one, A, B, C, D. Oh, <laughs> look at that. So this side, it's all purple and he's got half of his bones. Look at that, it's broken. Look at it, it's severed. And then if I turn it this way, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's the rest of his rib cage. I'm trying to give you a full pressure, Scotty. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Without bursting him. But you see his bones. See my bones. See my bones. You won't like it when I'm in my tongue. See my bones. Oh, wow. That's cool. And it's kind of coming out a little bit disjointed. And then the other side, what does this look like? It's the green Orbeez. It's the goo side. So actually, he's not evil. Just half of him is evil and half of him is goo. Well, it goo me if I didn't get it right. So I don't know. Ultra rare. Do we dare mess with him? Uh, he doesn't have a scored attack or anything like that. He's got a patch over his eye. So here we go. And then we'll curse him after. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, it's this side of the face. That side of the face is when you put cold water on him, he, get, he goes cray. Uh, I curse for you. You curse for me. Ooh, that's a big club foot. Wow. That, all that purple came out in that one foot. Ooh, it's kind of looking frothy there. All right, just how far can the ultra rare cursed goo go? Curse rock jaw. 
Oh, he did He did us proud, 25 feet. You're cursed. Okay, so we got our cursed, well, actually it's cold water. Any cold water on anybody would just feel like they're cursed. I think it's his left side of his face. Oh, it's turning purple. That's cool. He's like, why, why do you curse me? <laughs> That looks really good. And I, you know, put a lot of ice in here, guys. Just holding it's cursing my hands. I'm freezing. Look, you hold it long enough, you turn black and blue anyways. That's not really a curse. Everybody knows you're out in the winter and stuff and you turn black and blue from, you know, being frostbitten. That frostbite's gonna get you. <laughs> oh, look, his curse is gone. <laughs> I'm magical. Baby bobbity boo, watch him go curse goo. That's cool. I love the curseness. Now guys, let's bring the others back, but we're gonna have to do it fast because once I pull them out of the deep catatonic state of deep freeze, they're gonna start warming up. So we'll hurry and turn this on last minute. You can look at them really close to see how cursed they look when it really goes into deep freeze. Go, 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 go. Record camera mom, look, look, Blaze Gone's the worst. He's really deep freeze, man. You could, he's so cold. That part right there, is, it was almost like black. It's so deep blue. And we gotta go to this one, Thrash. I mean, look at him. He's really dark blue. And look at him. His snot's coming out blue. He looks really cool. Some of them are really faint, um, and you can see our Pantado, and then the slime Ely Eel. I mean, God, some of them, when you put them in the freezer, man, they stay cursed for a while, so they're only cursed during the winter time. Summer, they can play. And we got our, our uh, evil rock jaw. He's so goo, man. I love him. He's the coolest. Oh. He, he's still looking pretty cursed, even after he took that nasty tumble. Out of all of them, guys, put in the comments, who's your favorite? I mean, the Ultra Rock Jaw, he's super cool. Though the pirate hat, the whole pirate thing was just cool. And the other favorite here is like Edward Squidward with the snot running down stuff. He just looks awesome, man. I think they did really good on all fronts, guys. That's my favorite. Put in the comment which one's your favorite. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe because we'll have more goo. A lot more goo for you because I see what's coming. And you can too if you ring that bell and then you'll know as soon as we get them out. Now onto the Fortnite challenge where I got to win in a cursed sea goo skin and I thought that Moisty Merman looked a lot like Ill Ill. I mean, he looks ill with that tongue hanging out. Just kind of disgusted. <laughs> There's the full 360 of our Moisty Merman. It's old school. Let's go. And if you guys want to support me before you purchase anything in the item shop, in the bottom right hand corner, you can go ahead and click on support a creator and then type in adventure fun, all one word. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me out. Thanks guys. Oh my goodness, it's Kissmas. And look what we're doing here, guys. We're going to drop right beneath us. Three, two, jump. Ooh, that wasn't the best of jumps there. I got some uh, back bling, you know, for Christmas. I got a sword with the bow. It's red and it goes with the green. You know what? I'm going to try to complete a quest here. Visit a Ship It Express location. I just have to knock down one of the corrupted Ship It Expresses something. Uh, those are little flying drones. So looks like other people want to come here and uh, complete some quests too. Either that, just a good hot spot. Boy, Steamer, man. What a name. I never thought I'd be playing this skin. I thought, ah, just get it just in case. <laughs> He's got flat, oh my goodness. Key card, key card, yay. He's one of the easiest boss to take out. That's a card carrying uh, bot. <laughs> Is it MasterCard or Visa? We'll soon find out what we get in the safe. And it's right below me, so we're just gonna have to knock down a floor. Do a little business in the bathroom. Little business deal in there. And let's grab this chest. Ooh, a no man. Iron Warrior Striker. Air Striker. AR. Cool. I just think there's somebody around here. I'm not positive. I thought I heard footsteps somewhere, but we'll just uh, moisty our way up <laughs> to the vault. Okay, loot everywhere. Let's go. Take a potty break. Got to keep my moistness for my skin. Little H2O. There we go. Ah, all nice and moisty. Grab some gold. I'm at 4,500, so I don't know if I'll be needing all of it. But like I said, without the augs in a past video, I just got a lot of gold I don't spend. Unless I want to do upgrades at those weapons benches. Shockwave, a little bit mobility. I could go to Snooty Steps. Snotty. Oh, there we go. How dare you alert everybody else to my comings and goings. Ooh, Thunder Burst SMG. Look, it's all festive here. Candy canes galore. I just didn't make it in time to open up the presents. I think they've already been 
gotten. Go up on the uh, light rail. <laughs> it is a light rail for the grind rail. A little bit of shield. Ballista shield, so... Man, the aim on this is crazy, but it gives you some protection there. There we go. First limb of the game. And I'm feeling moisty, just spreading the moistness around. <laughs> I think I have completed my quest now. I may check the quest uh, log and see. Whoa. Somebody threw a snowball at me. <laughs> Ow. Pick up the shockwaves. It's time to go moist somebody. Or in Star Wars, Jar Jar Binks. You gonna go paste him? Paste him with the moisties. Let's see if we can find this wasque wabbit. There he is. There we go. Didn't have time to take out a snowball launcher. You got pasted. Moisted. <laughs> well, yeah, I wouldn't want to be pasted or moisted by this skin. But I've seen worse. Like the Princess Fish, Duilla. Drilla. I don't know what her name is. I'll just make it up as I go. It's kind of cool going through the sewers. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collab. Ship it express. Was that what all I was supposed to do is just destroy that thing? I thought I was supposed to shoot him out of the sky. Oh, movement, more movement. Grapple away. But I do like the shockwaves. Mm, they both come in very handy, depending upon the scenario. And away we go, it's Moisty Man. Are your talents dry? Is your mouth dry? Is everything dry, 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 dry? I'll moist it right up. Sound pretty nasty. <laughs> uh oh. Ugh, I run out of moisture. Here comes a chew. I just jump right in front of it. Go ahead. Stop! Wee! Hey, let's go ahead and crack this whole packet. Moisty Man is a superhero. Or he could be a villain. I'm not quite sure which way to put pin him. You know, nothing to do on this train. I'm not gonna wait for it to be hacked. Ooh. Let's go see who's over here and see if we can paste him with our moistiness. Oh, they're up here. Somewhere. I think behind that uh, SUV. Or down below. Oh, well, he's coming around pretty fast. Yeah, we missed all of that. Ooh, aye! Whoa! The dude sniped me. Oh, we're out of here. Okay. Moisty man will come back and get you another day. <laughs> you took all my moistiness out. I gotta go. Bye! Well, this dude's gray, man. I got a lot of shockwaves, so... Eat those apples. Ooh. Didn't want to take fall damage. I couldn't handle it. Okay, uh, nine players left. Oh, good. Okay, that's a good start. Assuming I find nothing else, let me just turn and grab what I can here. Uh, anything in here? Oh, great. Heals. We got the moisture just coming. Pour some water on my uh, arm. Slap it. And then we're good. No. Lettuce. <laughs> no. Shockwaves, okay, we're back in Bidney. Now I just need to find some uh, big pots. Anything up here? Oh, somebody's coming. Yeah, I ain't gonna hang around here. Let's go. Erase ya. Oh, okay, you win. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, eight players left. SUV versus SUV. I just gotta find another spot to find some shield. Okay, somebody has got ooh, attitude. Well, I'll just keep driving. And I'll just weave in and out of the trees so I don't get a clear shot. And then we'll head back. Man, I'm just hanging on by the moistiness of my moisture. <laughs> somebody please give me some moisturizing products. I'll take Calgon, Oil of Olay, whatever women use. I just... Oh good. Some slurps. Okay, a little bit of more moisture. Three players left. Wow. Okay, some more slurps. Good. And slurp by slurp. 
Gonna go around. The guy's like, I think, up on the top and... Ooh. This is it. Go. Okay, missed. Shockwave. Where are you? I gotta get up there while he's still low. He is. Oh, yeah! It was clean, guys! Hunk on! Duel! Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll have more moisty content on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.